In this video, I'm going to be taking one photo and transforming it into something magical in the space of only one hour. What is up guys, my name is Agosto and welcome to a brand new series I'm calling One Photo, One Hour. The premise is, I have one photo and then I have one hour to make the final piece. The rules are as follows. The main photo must be the main subject, you are allowed to collect other photos before the process and during the process if you truly wish and actually that's that's it those are the only rules i've come up with so far but maybe in the future we'll add some new ones though for now let's get straight into this all right um are we recording cool <sighs> this feels weird already okay so an hour on the clock and let's go so do i want this image or this image if it ever wants to load i would appreciate that all right, we're going with this one. Let's move this, uh, this angle. Perfect. Next, I want to content aware fill this. Wait, wait, where is content aware fill again? Fill, no, no, wait, what? There you go. Wait, hang on, w what is this? Okay, I can't find this, where, where is it? All right, let's just use the patch tool. Perfect. Next, let's use the brand new grass brush that I just downloaded, literally a few minutes before recording this video. That does not look right, to be honest. This will do, I guess. Now, let's add the background in. Add a bit of this. Let's try this. Move it here. Also add an exposure mask. Brilliant. Perfect. Now let's begin by adding in the main focus point of this piece and the photo that this whole video is based around, this magical rose. Let's give it a bit of puppet warp to fix the shape. Now let's move on to the background and give it that more flat look by adding a solid color that matches the sky. Perfecto. Now let's blend the rose into the background. A bada bing, a bada boom, done. Okay, now I want to move onto the sun and give it some glow. Just add a little extra spice. Let's change the blend mode. Hard light may work. Actually, that, that works, I think. Adds that, that spice that I was talking about. This is really lagging. Oh, hell yeah. That looks way better. Wait, what is this bit up here? Okay, that didn't work. Not that either. There you go. It's because I lowered the opacity of the stars, in case anyone was wondering. I mean, that was kind of obvious though, I definitely knew that all, all along. Okay, this bit here is starting to really annoy me, so let's fix that. Much better. Now, I want to make this rose glow, but I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Okay, that isn't working, nor is this. I really should have researched how to do this before starting this piece. This is not what I was looking for. This is also not what I was looking for. Great, this isn't helping me. Okay, let's just do good old fashioned trial and error. Okay, so this is kind of working, but it's white and I need it to be red. It just doesn't work. Is the background too light? Is it because red is a difficult light source to work with? I don't, I don't get this. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, yeah. L let's try using a lighter shade of red, maybe? Or a light color than... Or a lighter color than red, sorry. Maybe like an orange. Why is my laptop running so slow? It's actually a joke. Stop lagging. Why are you lagging? That is... Dog sh**. I just can't get this to work. I, I don't have enough experience in digital art to figure out this freaking problem okay okay maybe the lighting is off which is making it look weird so let's move on to some highlights and shadow correction i guess okay that doesn't look bad let's try adding some red light on the flowers maybe maybe that will sell that the flower is actually glowing i guess 
Well, this looks crap. Maybe I could add light to the ground instead. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah, th this looks... This looks way better. Let's try adding some particle effects, too. So, some here, some there, some of this, some of that. Lower the opacity. Let's take some of this away. And voila. Alright, this is now beginning to actually look a lot better. Except for that red light on the flower that still looks ridiculous. Okay, great. Now my laptop needs to charge. Oh, bollocks. Okay, now that that's done, I have about seven minutes left. Great. How the f*** do I fix this? Oh, you know what? Maybe this... Yeah, maybe this needs to be a whole lot darker. This is actually working really well. Maybe for future reference it would be handy to make an element darker and figure out how to make it lighter rather than the other way around. Facts. So, I now have three minutes left. I think what I'm going to do is just work on this flower until it actually looks right. Oh wow, that just made a huge difference actually. This looks so much better than five minutes ago. Ugh, I want to die, this is not working at all. Oh my god, what? Is that... Jesus, that's time. Oh my god, that went by so much quicker than I thought. Okay, well, it actually doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Yeah. And this is the final result of one hour using one photo as the main subject. But, in my opinion, it wasn't good enough. So, I spent an extra half an hour on it, and this is what I actually got as the final result. Obviously this looks way better than what I did in an hour, but that's because I didn't, I gave it an, obviously this looks way better than what I did in an hour. I also did a crop version of the image, just to put the rose as more of a focus. In my opinion this actually looks a lot better, but let me know what you guys think. If you want to try the challenge for yourself, I will leave a link in the description to the main photo that I used today. Then tag me your final result on Instagram, at Acosto underscore designs, and I would love to see them. Until next time though guys, I'll see you later. Cheers.